This is DANL 100, Chapter 6, Data Output. Agenda. In this short video, I'll discuss the following topics. Topic number one, simple application of write.csv. This function is opposite of read.csv. Then I'll discuss how to remove double quotation marks and rural names. Topic number two, write table. Write dot table is opposite of read dot table. Topic number three, save versus write RDS. The last one is save dot image. Because the chapter six is part of week three. So we type source HTTP and RPY week three of TXT. And so this is chapter six data output type dot dot six. Okay. The first one is list of possible format. Okay, use up arrow key. You add one. Okay. Uh, for the CSV, we can use write dot CSV, write dot table, and for the text file, we use write dot table. Okay. For the R data set, we use save function. Okay. RDS, we use save RDS. I think we write RDS. So let's see. Okay. And then I'll discuss about save images. Again, type C.6. So let's look at the first one. Write.csv. Okay, so dot C6 2. Okay. And so let's uh, use very simple one. Okay. X equals 1 to 100. Write.csv. So let's save to our current working directory. Okay, x equals 1 to 1000 write csv. csv x then file name. Okay, so let's test csv. Okay, and if we type dot dir, then we will see our test file. You see the test? Let's See the test.csv. Suppose we, we can call it the test2. Okay. So test2 csv. Then we use dir. Then we'll see the test2.csv here. Okay. So let's make a little bit of complex one. Okay. So let's load our data set. And we are going to assign a value to A. Okay. And so this is load. And because this is our data set. So this is our data set. And also because it's remotely. So we have two functions. One is load. Another is called URL. Okay. We combine two functions together. Okay. And uh, we assign this one to A. The A contain the variable. So this variable can has the value from this R data set. If we can use head dot x tail dot x. Okay. And so this is our we can treat as a matrix. Actually it's a data frame. Okay. We have um, twelve hundred twenty eight rows. We have one two three four five so we have five columns okay so let's save it to our to our current working directory so let's make it a, a set temp and set temp get temp okay and set temp 
get working directory. So let's look at our current working directory. And temp, it's empty, okay. And we have current working directory, so we go to temp. It's much easier uh, because it's empty now. So let's save it, right? .csv. Okay, we're going to save it as a file. So let's call test .csv. Okay, we make it as, as simple as possible. Okay, write .csv. This is our data set and this is file out file. So this is out file name. Okay, so let's look at the structure of this data set. Okay, we go. So let's get wd. So see user, if we use a Mac, you don't have this one. You simply have users, your username, document, then if you generate, uh, you use dir.create, then you can generate a subdirectory. Okay, so let's go to the this specific lo location. C user, I am document. document and temp okay so we only have one file and suppose I use uh, I can use the uh, Excel file to open it however I think notepad is much better okay so this is our structure so this is our data set okay and if you look at the data set carefully you see there are so many double quotation marks okay and these double quotation marks are redundant. Okay. Another one, another observation is we have extra column. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have six column. Our actual data has only five. Okay. Um, one solution is we can we can write our data set. Okay, you see, and called quote equals false. Okay, row dot name equals false. Okay, so let's save it as test two. It's purely for comparison. Okay, so we write dot csv. So this is our input data and file test two dot csv. Okay, so quotation mark. We will not record any quotation marks. Okay. And also the first column we were not going to record the first column. Okay. And we have two. We have two. So let's use uh, notepad to open it. Now this one is much better. Okay, so this is the first column is date, so the second column is mark return, money receive rate and small minus b high minus low with free rate okay so every observation we have one two three we have five data items and we use four commas to separate them okay so this is uh, topic number one we how to use uh, write dot csv to save our file Talk number two. So let's look at write dot table. Okay. And uh, we, we save it. So write dot table. BLE. Again, we always start the simplest one. Okay. File test three. TXT. Okay. We don't have any other variable. Okay. We write dot table so this is our data set so this is our file output file okay as I mentioned many times before extension are not important however we should have good extensions okay actually the file can omit as well okay so this is very very simple right right dot table data set output name Okay, so let's look at the uh, test 3txt So we have three. Just click. We have the same 
issues. Okay, I'm going to, you see, I, we don't have a comma. We don't have comma. And so let's delete this double quotation and the first column. Okay. And so let's go back. Suppose we call it test four. Okay. And the Q U O T E Q is four rows name equals false. Okay. And uh, we don't need double quotation marks and we don't need first column, rows column. Okay. So let's look at test four. So this is test four. Okay. And uh, you see this the structure is quite similar to the test test dot csv okay the only difference is i think it used tab it used tab okay and so let's try another way to do it is we specify s e p equals we specify separate sep equals double quotation double quotation star double quotation suppose we save called the test 5 okay the only thing between 4 and 5 we specify which symbol is used to separate our data set Now let's look at the data. This is quite similar to previous one. The only difference is we use star and we use star in the place of tab. Okay. So let's look how to read these two data set. So one is four, one is five. Okay. So let's FF4. Great table test four dot txt. So this is ff four. So let's look at ff five. Okay, f five great table test five dot txt. Okay, and head ff four. Okay, what is issue here? Okay. And the issue is okay, and so let's look at the DIR. Okay, so let's look at the read CSV. Okay, let's so FF2 read CSV. So let's read this one. So this is the correct input. This is the correct input because the first, so this is name of the first column, name of second column. However, if we use a read FF4 and we have this, so this is actually its name, okay, name. The reason is when we use read.csv, the default value of header is true. However, when we use read.table, the default value for the header is false. Okay. To avoid this one, we have to specify header equals choose. Okay. So type ff5. Read dot table test five header equals two. Sorry, we should read four. Okay, four, four. Okay, uh, I compared the uh, FF4 
with uh, test two. Okay, I repeat. Okay, if we use apply readout CSV, one of input value called head, its default value is two. However, if we use read dot table, the same head variable default value is false. Okay, how can we confirm this uh, issue? Okay, read table. So we can type help read dot table. Okay, so if you look at it here, okay, so read dot table, the header. The default value is false. If you look at read.csv, the default value is choose. Okay, I call this inconsistency. If I design these two uh, function together, both should be head equal false, or both should be head equals choose. Okay, I repeat. When we read the, when we apply the read dot table, the one of input value variable called header its default value is false however for the same or similar read.csv function its header is true okay okay so let let me try it one more time okay a suppose i use read dot table okay a equals read dot table so let's read exactly same same data set a read uh, csv and test two dot csv okay so read dot csv okay so let's apply exactly same table Okay, because I have to specify separate equals comma. Okay, and I use read dot table to read a CSV file. Okay, then I have to specify is the separate is comma. Okay, so let's look at the B. Okay, then we have the, this actual one. Okay, we have deleted this one, and because it treat the first row as true data okay to avoid it then we have to specify header equals true then the problem disappear the problem disappear next we look at the uh, save function okay save to save our data set, we type C6, and here's the save and our data set. So C610. Okay. So let's make it the simplest one. We assign 1 to 1000 to X, and we save it. Okay, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. X equals 1 to 1000. Let's use 5000. Okay, you save X file and text. So let's use uh, test one RDATA. Save X file equal of oh, file F I L E file. Okay. Then we save the test file with DIR, and we can see this uh, R data set. Okay, test one R data set. Then we remove X. Okay, then we load it. ROAD test and RDATA. Sorry, test one R D A T A. Okay, and because uh, we we know and uh, underlying variable is X because we generate X from one to five thousand. However, just imagine you send your R data set to another fellow student or coworker. They have no clue 
about the underlying variable name. Okay. Then we assigned A. So A equals load test one our data set. The A contain the variable name. Okay. Then we can we can look at head and the tail of our variable. Okay. Head tail. of our value or even structure of value of our value okay so this is save and load okay load is only used to load a local variable like test one okay and for a remote so let's assume a equals http data r RPATA. So this is a location of our data. So actually, we can download it. Okay. So we go to a browser. We paste it there. So you see on the bottom, that button, we can download it. Okay. So let's go back. And um, so if it's a local one, we can just load A. Unfortunately, this is HTTP, it's a remote one. So we have to use B, B equals URL, A. Okay, then we assign D, load B. Okay, and so this is identical to previous one. And uh, so if it's a local, we just load this uh, path, okay, because it's remote so we have to use url okay and again extension is dot x then we can use head dot x and tail dot x you see okay so this is a save and load and for load we apply load function we can upload our data set if it says locally for the remote, we have used combination of LOAD and UIL function, two function together. Next, we look at uh, another pair, save RDS and read RDS. Okay, so I'll say 6, 11. Okay, um, so we can use uh, how to save it is save data set and file name okay so let's uh, let's make it very simple x equals one two four thousand okay actually one thousand we say we, we can save rds okay so x the file equal test to rds now we remove x. So let's let's load it. So let's use a and read RDS. Okay. So this is test test two RDS. Okay. Okay. We use head. Okay. This is quite a different. This is quite different from the previous one. So this is read ds, remember? So let's, let's compare. Okay. A, uh, we, we generate some function. Okay. Um, okay. This is simplest one. We have data set. We use the uh, file equal test rds. And we we'll read it. And this is quite different from uh, load. So let's make um, because remember we have this called u load url http and data r and ff3 rdmta so we combine these two together okay a contain the variable name dot x we use dot x. Okay. So let's look at exact same thing. Okay, so let's use read RDS. Read RDS. 
We have the exact same so this is RDS. Okay, so let's look at the A. Okay. Um, so this is difference. Okay. And um, so this is our data set. This is also our data, data set. This extension with RDATA saved with uh, save function. Okay. So this is RDS. A save with save RDS. Both are our data set, but they are generated with different function. Okay, so if we use a equals load URL, it generate a contain the variable name. Then we type we type head variable name, we get the data set. However, if we use read RDS, same thing. Okay, read RDS will read local. RDS dataset directly. If remotely we use RAD RDS URL, okay, then we assign both. We assign both to A and both to A. However, for RDS, A, it is the dataset, underlying dataset was assigned to A. For this case, the name of underlying dataset was assigned. So these are the difference. Okay. Another difference is when we generate multiple data sets. Suppose present value equals 100, R equals 10%, N equals um, 5. You see, we can save. We can save present value R N 5 equals. So let's call it the uh, test 10 RDATA. Okay, and you see we saved present value RN called file. Suppose with A load test 10. Okay, if we load it, so if we load it, we know we upload present value R and N. So let's try to save these three values. Okay. And save RDS. Present value R N. File equals test 11 RDS. Then we got an error message. This indicates we can only save one data set. If we save present value, then we load. Load and read RDS test 11 RDS. Then we only load this variable. The last one is about save image. Okay, the save image. We have saved everything. Yes. For example, we have. Um, so let's look at it. Suppose we have A, we have B, we have D, we have FF2, we have FF4, we have many, many data sets here. And suppose we have BD function and X and 2X. So this is called, we call a double function from chapter 2. So let's generate one more. Present value function. Okay, so this is keyword. And keyword function is future value r n future value divided by 1 plus r power is n. Okay, present value function 110 and 2. Okay. And suppose we have we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 objects are called objects. Some are variables, some are functions. We won't save them all. We won't save them all. Okay, suppose we're working for a project. We have 50 variables and 20 data sets. We have like a dozen functions. Okay, we won't save them all. Okay, just save image. Save image and 
I can call all on the NTA. Okay. So let's remove them all. Okay. Remove L I S T equal L S. So I remove them all. Now I'm going to load them all. Load all. Then I recover. The basic idea is so this function save dot image save dot image will save everything you have right now and for the future usage. Okay. Shutterstock music. Hey.